Hey guys, Sharif here, and I received a question from a young follower asking me what are the best foods to put quality weight on. All right, he sent me a message. He's trying to put some weight on, bulk up the right way, not just putting fat on, but putting good quality weight on, muscle mass. And he's asking me what are the foods that I would recommend, and I'll share that with you guys in this video. All right, but I want you guys to know. If you want to put weight on you want to bulk up you got to remember that at the end of the day you have to be in a surplus all right you have to be in a surplus you have to eat more than what you burn so your body can use that surplus of calories to put tissue on all right so even if i tell you eggs and now you're eating eggs but you're still in the deficit you will not be able to see uh, results and put weight on all right so let's just straight into it Number one, it's gonna be very controversial, but I would recommend you to switching all your carb sources to a, an easy to digest carb source, which is white rice, white pasta, white bread, all right, white potatoes, it could be white uh, well, rice cakes, it could be bananas, those that I just named are very easy to digest. Pasta, uh, white rice, super easy to digest because there's no fibers in them. So your body will just absorb them and break them down super fast. If you're trying to bulk up, these is, are the carbs that you really want to aim for. These are the ones that you really want to uh, have in your diet plan. Instead of eating the brown rice, the oatmeal, the quinoa, the brown pasta, uh, everything that is super high in fiber, the whole green breads, because those ones will just fill you up too much and you will not be able to be in a surplus. Instead of eating one little slice of, uh, I don't know, nine green breads that will fill you up so much because it has 10 grams of fiber per slices, go for a white bread. Yeah, it's processed and it won't have all the vitamins and minerals, but you'll be able to eat a lot more. You'll get more carbs, more calories in there, which will help you increase your calories for the day and put you in a surplus. But also remember that we're not eating bread for the vitamins and nutrients that we will find in that bread, but rather for uh, the easy to digest sources of carbs, all right, to get energy, to get those carbs in. So I want you to switch your carbs if you're someone eating a lot of brown rice, oatmeal, a lot of quinoa, and start eating more white rice, uh, white pasta, white sourdough bread is good, potatoes, things like that that are very low in fiber. Trust me, it has been a game changer for me, especially when I'm trying to bulk up. When I was eating uh, brown rice with my, with my meals, I was so full and bloated after one cup of rice. But since I switched it to white rice, I can eat so much more, I get hungrier again, and my body digested so much better, no more bloating. All right, so that was tip number one. Tip number two would be increase your red meat intake and uh, switch your chicken breast, if you're someone that loves chicken breast, for more thighs, chicken thighs, all right, or more a fattier source of meat. So if you're someone who loves chicken, well, instead of eating chicken breast, go for chicken thighs. And if you're okay eating red meat, because a lot of people, I don't know, these days don't want to eat red meat. I'm a big fan of red meat. I love red meat. Well, I would say prioritize your red meat. And that should be your main source of protein. Red meat is very, very nutritious, guys. So much more powerful than chicken. All right, it has your B12, your zinc, your iron, a lot of vitamins and minerals that will fuel you. It's a powerhouse of nutrients. And tastes amazing, very versatile, and uh, you can also uh, play with the calories as you wish because you can go for a lower fat content, a higher fat content, an extra lean ground beef, you can go for 80-20, uh, you can go for a steak, a ribeye, so depending on the fat that you want in there, but generally red meat will have a little bit more fat than chicken, which will help you also boost your calories, all right? So don't fear red meat and make sure it's part of your diet. You know, since I've been eating red meat daily, daily, yeah, for the past, I would say a year now, uh, I've seen amazing, amazing benefits and amazing results. So make sure you incorporate red meat in your weekly diet. I'm not saying you have to eat it daily, but make sure it's, it's there. All right. And if you're someone that's eating a lot of chicken breast, I would really urge you to reconsider because chicken breast is very lean, very low calorie so if you're someone that's trying to bulk up trying to put weight on you don't want to be eating a lot of chicken breast because it's low calorie it's going to fill you up it's mainly protein very low fat so it's going to satiate you so much you won't be able to eat as much so make sure that you're maybe going for chicken thighs or going for uh, a red meat i love red meat like i said uh, number three make sure you're eating salmon all right salmon a very very important fatty fish all right, you're getting your omega-3s in there, but also fat salmon is pretty high in calories since it's 
it has all the good fats it's fat content is pretty high and i make sure that i'm getting my salmon at least once a week or i'll take fish oil all right it's something that has been a game changer for me as well also in terms of joints i don't even know if it's a placebo or not but since i've been eating more salmon i feel like i just feel so much better all right i just feel like uh, i'm a lot stronger all right number four eggs i love eggs eggs not only egg whites eggs whole eggs with the yolk the yolk has all the biotin, the choline, the vitamin K, vitamin D, a lot of vitamins and minerals that will fuel you, all right? Guys, you gotta remember it's not just about macros, but also about the micronutrients that we find in our food, all right? And eggs, high in calories, but also very high in protein, good fats, and uh, has cholesterol, which will help your body produce testosterone, all right? So you gotta not only look at the tip of the iceberg, but everything else that food you're eating will create and will a compound into all right and that's why i'm a big fan of eggs some people say that eggs are as powerful as steroids now i don't believe that but i think that uh it's just to bring out a point that they are super powerful and imagine a, a, an egg can 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 uh, is it could be a, a little chicken so can you imagine like it's uh it's very nutritious all right eggs i really love eggs i'll eat four to five eggs every single day and they're high calories easy to eat and they're versatile when you're cooking them you can do omelet scrambled boiled eggs so uh, don't fear the egg yolk super important moving on moving on moving on bananas all right i love fruits in general but i really love bananas why because bananas they are super easy to eat every single time i go to the gym i'll take with me at least two bananas that i'll be having after my workout all right and they go super fast maybe 100 calorie per banana and super easy to eat guys we want to prioritize foods that are easy to eat but that doesn't mean that we'll go to mcdonald's and eat chicken wings and eat all those high foods but high quality foods as unprocessed as possible and that are super easy to eat and to digest and that are very nutritious all right so such as bananas so they will give you uh your carb sources super easy to digest super easy to eat and they taste amazing so bananas are really something that is part of my uh, daily, daily, daily diet regimen. Another thing, uh, let's talk about supplements. Protein powders. You want to make sure that you're hitting your protein intake. You want to make sure that you're at least getting one gram per uh, pound of body weight that you're having. So you want to make sure you're eating enough protein because that's what will help you build muscle mass. And I love protein powders for that because they're super convenient. I'll make myself a shake in the morning, post-workout, very easy, very fast when I don't have time, when I didn't cook, for example, or when I'm on the go, protein shake with a few bananas and I'm good. Now, should you take a mass gainer? No, I would not recommend you take a mass gainer because mass gainers have a lot of fillers. They have all those maltodextrins, the dextrose, very cheap carb sources just to fill it up and bring up the calorie intake but basically your body will not digest it well it will leave you nauseous all right and your body won't absorb all those calories so make sure you make your own for example uh mass gainer you can put a shake of protein some bananas you can throw in some peanut butter almonds and uh, i don't know whatever you really you like some greek yogurt some frozen foods and there you go creatine i'm a big fan of creatine let's talk about that I really believe that everyone should be taking creatine, whether your goal is cutting or putting muscle mass on, will help you bring more water in your muscles, more water, more hydration, less risk of injury, more strength, more endurance. Great things coming from creatine. Now, moving on, uh, fats. You wanna make sure that you're prioritizing easy to eat fat sources, which means almonds, peanuts, well, all kind of nuts, peanuts, butter, peanut butter. For one tablespoon, you have 100 calories. So imagine you put that on your toast and you have 100 extra calories. Those are the fats that you want to prioritize because they're easy to eat. They'll boost up your calorie. If you're not able to put weight on, increase more fats in your diet, all right? If you're hitting your protein, you're hitting your carbs, it's time to make sure that you're getting more fats because they're very caloric, but also very easy to eat. So we have the avocados, cheeses, you have the nuts, the almond butter, the peanut butter, the cashews. Uh, the dark chocolate, all right, one little square, 90 calories. So super easy to uh, have more of those. We've seen Chris Bumstead putting olive oil on his rice just to increase that uh, calorie intake and at the end of the day to be in a surplus. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you like it. If you want coaching, go on my website, sharifsad.com. If you have any questions you want me to answer it in another video, leave it down below. I will answer those questions. Leave your question down below. Thank you for watching. 
I know I haven't been super consistent with the videos. Uh, it's uh, a bit about my uh, discipline and uh, a lot of stuff has been going on lately, but I want to get back into doing it. So maybe you'll feel that I'm a little bit uh, slow in this video. And trust me, it took me many takes, but that's what it is. And making videos, building a YouTube channel is like everything in life. It's like building a business, like building your body. Uh, it's all about the reps and the reps and doing more and keep going. And sometimes you don't see the results, but you got to keep going and keep going. And you can't just stop because when you stop, that's where you lose. And it's everything in life. All right. You've been training for a little while. You don't see results. Just keep going. Just keep going. Maintain it. All right. You believed in it when you started. Why did you stop believing? Because now you don't see as many views or as or you're not pushing as much weight at the gym or you don't see your six packs as fast. Well, just keep going might be a bit longer than what you expected but it will eventually happen all right the man that keeps going is the only one that will reach the end goal all right it's, seriously it's not about the end results but really about that process and it's what the process makes us you know it's uh, like for me for example yeah i want to build my youtube but let's say tomorrow i had a million followers all of a sudden that won't be really the success but it's about how i'm getting better at making videos having some contents interacting with people and it's always about the journey always about the process always about who we're, we are becoming whatever you do in life remember enjoy now enjoy the present moment and enjoy the process because this is the real price is the process and it's uh what the process is making you into so don't forget that don't wait until it's too late to be like, oh my God, I missed those days when it was a bit harder and I was coming up. No, enjoy it now. Enjoy the good the ups and downs. And trust me, uh, that's the beauty of life. So see you guys soon. Don't forget to watch other videos if you want to. Ciao.